Hello children, how are you all? Hope all of you are fine at home and you have been in a relaxed and comfortable way. So children, now let us study the fun of science. So now I am here to discuss some of the topics of class 11 physics. So now let us move to the wonderful world of physics. You all know what is physics? Physics, as you know, it is a quantitative science. That is, it deals with numbers, it deals with measurement, is it not? So now, I am introducing the first chapter of class 11. The name of the chapter is Units and Measurements. So I am introducing the chapter Units and Measurements. So what do you mean by a unit? The standard measurement for comparing a physical quantity is known as a unit. A standard measurement for comparing a physical quantity is known as a unit. So if you want to express a measured quantity, there are two essential requirements. The two essential requirements are the, number, the system of unit in which you are expressing the quantity and the number of times that quantity is appearing. So, we can represent a measured quantity. A measured quantity can be represented as Q is equal to what? NU. What is N and U here? U is the, the unit in which the quantity is expressed. And what is N? The number of times that is appearing. So, a measured quantity can be expressed as Q is equal to what? N U. Again, whenever we select a quantity or a unit, there are certain characteristics for the selection criteria of a unit. So, we are going to discuss what are the characteristics of a unit. What are the characteristics of a unit? The first thing is, whenever we select a particular thing, it should be well defined it should be well defined and the second point is it should not change with place with time and the position or any other physical conditions it should be well defined it should not change with the time or any other physical condition and it should be comparable with other similar units so these are the characteristics of a well defined unit and here we shall move into the detailed aspect of the types of quantities in physics. Okay, so now we shall discuss about the two types of quantities in physics. One is fundamental quantity and the second one is known as derived quantities. These are the basic quantities, fundamental quantities and the second one is derived quantity. And in mechanics, when we take, we have three fundamental quantities and the three fundamental quantities, we can give it as length, first one, then the second one, mass and the third one, we can give it as time. These are the three fundamental quantities in the branch of mechanics. Again, from other branches of physics, we have various other fundamental quantities. And the other fundamental quantities are electric current, then amount of substance, then we have luminous intensity, luminous intensity and we have temperature. So, namely we have how many types of fundamental quantities? We have seven fundamental quantities which are length, mass, time, electric current, amount of substance, luminous intensity and temperature. And what are these? These are the quantities which do not depend on any other quantities. Fundamental quantities will not depend on any other quantities and the units of the fundamental quantities are known as fundamental units. The units of fundamental quantities 
are known as fundamental units and so now i let you know what are the fundamental units of these fundamental quantities what are the units of the above said fundamental quantities so we have first fundamental quantity which i have written there is length and coming to the unit of length length is always expressed in meter coming to the fundamental unit of mass it is expressed in kilogram then coming to time we express that in seconds then coming to electric current a new unit for you which is ampere then amount of substance this is the one which you have studied in your previous classes that is mole okay and i think luminous intensity is a new term for you and the unit of that is candela cd of course temperature is a known term to you that is it is expressed in the temp unit kelvin so these are the fundamental quantities and the fundamental units okay children hope it is clear to you what i discussed about the fundamental quantities and the fundamental units now the second quantity there is known as the derived quantities so what do you mean by derived the meaning itself derived quantity the one that is coming from another so derived quantities are the quantities which comes from the fundamental quantities so let us cite with an example for that okay let us take area what is area as you all familiar with that area area is what children yes it is length into breadth area is length into breadth so here we can relate length and breadth we can express in terms of the fundamental quantity length itself so area is a derived quantity another example i can give you which is velocity what is velocity you people know that very well velocity is displacement by time is it not again displacement it is measured in length and here we have time so velocity is what velocity is a derived quantity so any quantity that is derived from the basic fundamental quantity is known as derived quantity and the units of the derived quantity is known as derived units hope the topic is clear to you okay children so now let's start with the next topic that is the system of units okay here we have to discuss in detail the system of units which we are used to and normally the first system of unit which i am going to express to you is the cgs system what is the name of the system cgs system then the second system which i am going to introduce is the fps system fps system and the third system which i am going to introduce is the system mks okay as a physics student it is very easy for you to keep it in mind see cgs the term all these represents the fundamental quantities length mass and time length mass and time so here here it is c c represents centimeter c is centimeter then here it is g which represents gram and here it is s that is seconds okay so we got centimeter means what it is a measurement of length what is gram it is a measurement of mass and seconds it is gives the data of time similarly there is another system which were used very earlier f f represents foot then p represents pound and again s represents seconds this was a one system of unit which were used then mks here m represents meter again this k represents kilogram so again there is s which represents seconds so these are the different system of units which we were applying in physics so there arises a confusion which system we have to apply or not 
so now we are accepting a system which is known as the SI system SI system international that is a system which we are following now and in system international the SI unit of length is always taken as meter the SI unit of mass is taken as kilogram and the SI unit of time is taken as seconds so now as a student there arises a question why we have selected the SI system so now children we have to discuss about the advantages of SI system what are the advantages of SI system so coming here the advantages of SI system is first point is it is internationally accepted it is internationally accepted second point is it is a rational system it is a rational system rational system means it uses the same unit for a physical quantity for energy the unit that we use is joule whatever be the type of energy again it is a metric system metric system means we can express in the multiples and the sub multiples of the powers of 10 and as I told it is a internationally accepted system internationally accepted system and one more point if you want you can add to it it is a coherent system so that is why we are selecting SI system to be accepted in all our calculation hope it is clear these are the advantages of SI system it is a rational system it is a metric system it is internationally accepted it is a coherent system that is it is easy to convert from SI to other system of units so now we discuss in this particular module the topics concerning units what are the type of quantities and what are the system of units which we are following thank you children